Dear innovators, how are you? We know the role of extension service providers is to make the farmers learn about new technology and make them available with different technological ingredients. Extension itself is an educational intervention. Overall, this makes the client system to learn and adopt a new technology. In this chapter, we are going to learn how an innovation or any agricultural technology usually spreads within the social system. In our case, it is farming community. And finding out various roles of extension service providers during this process. Let us understand the diffusion and adoption of an innovation. Innovation is an any idea or practice or any product which is perceived as new. We have to understand this innovation can be a creation at somewhere else at some point of time and it can be new at another social system at another point of time. Any social system, farming community in our case, is considering any kind of innovations by perceived attributes of the innovations. Suppose an extension service provider wants to introduce broccoli crop for the farmers traditionally cultivating cauliflower. Farmers perceive this innovation that is broccoli cultivation by the following attributes or the characters. Is this broccoli crop is relatively advantageous than the cauliflower crop? Is it compatible to the economic condition or the social conditions of me? The production of the broccoli is complex. Can I try the broccoli crop in the small extent? Whether the yields of the broccoli crop are visibly good? Like that farmer or the farming community perceives any kind of innovations by following all these traits of a innovation. Along with the relative advantage, compatibility, complexity, triability and observability, predictability is also proposed as an additional attributes of innovation by Napier during 1991. Let us see how that particular innovation is spread among the society. The process of spreading of any idea we can call it as diffusion. It is a process by which an innovation is communicated through certain channels over time among the members of a social system. So this diffusion is a social process. In general, this diffusion is the process related to the adoption of an innovation while adoption involves sequence of thoughts and actions which an individual goes through before the finally adopts any idea or any innovation. Because of that, innovation is a social process while the adoption is an individual and mental process. Let us know about the definition of an adoption. A decision to make full use of an innovation as a best course of action available is called adoption. According to the Rogers, adoption process is the mental process through which an individual passes from hearing about the innovation to the final adoption. According to the Rogers, adoption occurs in five different stages. The first stage is awareness stage, where the farmer just know about the availability of an innovation. Then he enters into the interest stage, there he requires an additional information and he attempts to get more and more information to know much about the innovation. Then he mentally evaluates that particular innovation in his condition and make some trial of that innovation at smaller scale level. Finally, he adopts that particular innovation. If we consider the seven step model of the Singh and Parikh, it starts with the need stage where the farmer is in great need of a technology or any innovation to change his existing level of situation. Then he enters into the awareness stage where he knows about the one idea is existing, it can act as a solution to his problem. Then he enters into the interest stage, out of his interest, he could get more and more additional information, tries to get more knowledge about that particular innovation. Then he mentally evaluates that particular innovation in his own condition in the deliberation stage. 
he just practices that particular innovation in very small scale in the trial stage based on the results obtained in the trial stage he evaluates the whole innovation to treat his own problem and finally he adopts that particular innovation but all farmers in the farming community does not adopt our new technology or any innovation at the same point of time based on their innovativeness they adopts innovation at different points of time then what is innovativeness it is the degree to which an individual or other unit of adoption is relatively earlier in adopting new technology than other members of a social system based on this innovativeness the whole social system say farming community has been classified into different adopter categories before knowing about these adopter categories let us conclude what we have understand so far we have discussed what is innovation and its attributes how the innovation is diffused and what is the process of adoption through five and seven step models at last innovativeness based on which adopter categories will be made thank you keep learning